Hello and welcome to Dishing Delights. My name is Jenica and today we are going to do a little bit of a weekly meal prep and a grocery haul. Let's get into it. I'm going to start by showing you what I grabbed for this week's groceries. I picked up some grape tomatoes. I also picked up a package of romaine lettuce. I grabbed some celery for the week. Also two green peppers. This package of pepperoni was 99 cents, so I figured I must grab that. And then this whole chicken was manager special, so I grabbed that. This Maxwell House was $1.99, and I also had to grab a gallon of milk. Right, and then about this box of meat. A freezer went out at the store, so when I went into work, they sent me home with a box of meat because even though it didn't thaw out, after a certain number of hours, you can't sell frozen goods when a freezer goes out so that ended up being a blessing for us because you cannot go wrong with 10 pounds of free meat and yes we have already ate some and it is still good and that is it for this week's groceries let's get into the meal prep for the week i went to the store today and there was a whole chicken that was manager special so i decided that i'm going to season this up and make it in the air fryer All right, I'm going to remove all of the insides. I'm going to wash my hands and I'll be right back. Now, I don't add any oil to my chicken, but I'm going to use this Weber garlic jalapeno seasoning, and I'm going to use one hand for the seasoning and one hand for the spreading. And you can do this as liberally as you want to. All right, I'm going to wash my hands. Actually, you know what? We're gonna put this right in there. We are gonna set this breast side down in the air fryer. We are gonna put this in the air fryer at 350 for 30 minutes. We're gonna let that cook for 30 minutes. We're gonna flip it and then it's going to cook for another 30 minutes. All right, now look at how beautiful that looks. We are going to flip it, and then we're gonna put it back in for another 30 minutes at 350. I'm actually going to flip it around. That way the breast side is towards the back. And while this is going, I'm going to make some rice. The first thing we're going to do is take some rice out of this bucket. I keep my rice in a gamma sealed container. This is some white rice. And I use these so that I can quickly get in and out of them. just wash this so what I am going to do I use one part water to one part rice I'm going to rinse this and then we're gonna make our rice all right we're gonna add this to our instant pot like I said one part water one part rice all right this is going to be super simple Hit the rice button, and then you're done. Let's check out this chicken. Doesn't that look beautiful? I'm going to just double check on the meat. Oh, it's definitely done. Perfect. 
Now this has to naturally release for 15 minutes and then we'll open up the lid and it will be finished. All right, this just naturally released. Perfect. All right, let's check it out. It's perfect and fluffy. I'm just gonna fluff it up a bit more. All right, I'm going to move my chicken over here. I'm going to add those chicken juices to a mason jar. We'll use those for chicken gravy in another meal. I also have some green beans that I warmed up. So let's check out this chicken. Then we have some of that chicken breast and I'm going to slice this up and serve it with dinner. Now here's the chicken that I'll use in dinners this week. I'm going to add more chicken drippings into this. I'm going to set the chicken drippings and the meat in the fridge, and then we'll turn this into some chicken broth. Let's make some chicken broth. So I have this chicken carcass. So I have this chicken carcass that I got from that whole chicken. I'm going to place that in my Instant Pot. I have vegetable scraps that I've been keeping in my freezer. I'm going to dump those in. Then I just toss this back in the freezer and I'll use it for future vegetable scraps. I'm going to fill this up with water. This is now filled to the max fill line. I'm going to add in a couple small bay leaves, a little bit of celery seed, a little bit of thyme, a little bit of ground sage, and a little bit of minced onion. Then I'm going to put it at the broth setting. And voila, I am just going to let this natural release and then the broth is done. Now look at that. The first thing I'm going to do is take some of the bigger pieces of scraps Drain those off and put them in this bowl.
perfect. Now we have a quart and a half gallon. And we know everything that's in this and that is what's so amazing about making your own chicken broth. Right here we have our cake mix. We're just gonna make this according to package directions. We're gonna put these into a cupcake pan. And then while those are cooking, we're gonna take this rich and creamy chocolate frosting. We're gonna add a little bit of pizzazz to this. And then we'll have some cupcakes. Water. Vegetable oil. And my cake mix. I'm going to mix this up. Going to add in my cupcake liners. These are going to go in at a 350 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, I just rinsed all of this out. So now let's make the frosting. I'm going to dump this whole container of frosting in. I have a teaspoon of instant coffee and a teaspoon of hot water. I'm going to add about another half a teaspoon in there. I'm going to mix that up. That'll really bring out the richness. I'm also going to add in some shredded coconut and just a hint of vanilla. Going to mix that up. Mmm, that's the perfect thing to do to regular schmegular store-bought frosting. All right, I must stop. Look at these perfect cupcakes. Then I'm just going to sprinkle them with a little bit of coconut. I am taking two pounds of that ground beef and I am just going to brown it up with a little bit of Chicago steak seasoning. And then I am just going to set this in the fridge so that I have ground beef that's already cooked that I can pull from for meals throughout the week. So that leaves me with rice that's already prepped, a whole chicken that's already shredded and ready to eat and two pounds of ground beef that is already fully cooked and you can't forget the cupcakes. So now that I have all that, I'm going to prepare a big salad and then that is it for this week's meal prep. I did end up making like a little Big Mac type salad. That way I could reward myself for my work. But that is it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you wanna be notified when I upload my next video, hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching.